God is angry with men he's calling who have refused to go out to preach his word. Yeah, shalom, um, bride of Christ. Greetings to you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. I have a message that I want to pass to my brothers and sisters all over the world seeing this message. Please, I want to tell you this. Uh, if you have the calling of God, if you have the calling of God, or you see yourself in revelations, that you're preaching a revelation, or Jesus has sent you a message to go and do his work, and you are not doing the work. I want to tell you this, by the revelation of God, that Jesus is not happy with you. God is angry. With men he's calling who have refused to go out to preach his word. I appreciate every one of you who come here to comment on my post, who come here, you know, to pray with me. I appreciate you. But I tell you, beloved, if you have this in calling, and you have not started this work, beloved, those souls that God has given to you to bring to him, if you do not bring the souls to him, I tell you, you, have, you will not see Jesus the last day. You cannot enter the rest of Christ. If those souls, if they die of sinners, because of your negligence, you're going to preach to them to be saved. If they die of sinners, I tell you the truth, the Lord Jesus Christ, we owe you responsible. The Lord Jesus Christ, we owe you responsible. Because God has set you as a watchman in the book of Ezekiel. God has set you as a watchman to go and tell the people of their wickedness. Tell them that they will die in their sin. Tell them, accept their repent, they will die in their sins and they will go to hell. But if you fail to tell them, if they die in their sin, Jesus will ask you. Their blood cast for a choir from your end. But if you go and tell them of their sin, tell them to repent and the faith to repent, that is when you will be free. That is when you are free. So if you have the calling of God, please I beg you. Don't be afraid of anything. Don't be afraid of anything. The one who has called you to go and do this work will always guide you. Don't be afraid of men. Read the book of Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 1 to 6. You will understand better. Do not be afraid of them. God already knows that they are rebellious children. Those who wants to hear, will hear. Don't be afraid, but don't keep your mouth closed. God has called you in this last generation. Remember I said, the laborers are few, but the harvest is much. Say pray the Father to send more laborers. God has called you. God has called you to join in to harvest this earth. Please, I beg you, wake up now. Go and do the work. Go and preach. Go and, bring, go and bring back the lost sheep. The saints are about to go home. We are about to go home. If you don't go and preach, sorry, you cannot be among those that will go with Jesus daddy. If you have the calling, wake up now. You don't have time to gain on this earth. Wake up now. God is angry with everyone he has called who have not started his work, who have not started gathering his sheep awaiting him. Dear pastor, Dear beloved brother, dear sister, you know you have the calling of God. Wake up now. This message you are listening to, today I tell you, if you don't go and do the work, we stand as judgment against you. But it's not my prayer that this message stands against you. What I desire or what God desires for you is for you to wake up and join, his, join the other soldiers who are already in the battlefield so that at the, at the end we all will smile in heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom. God bless you.